hey guys so welcome back to my channel today we're doing a acrylic overlay on the natural nail so i start off by pushing back the cuticles this is a very important step this needs to be done all every time all the time before you start doing a new set or a filling always push back the cuticles i then go in with my cuticle drill bit um, this is to remove all the cuticles that I couldn't remove with my cuticle pusher and remove every dead um, cuticles. I then go in with my hand file, I think. Yeah, my hand file. I try to shape up the nails uh, to a square. She wanted a square shape but you don't really need to do this if they don't have long nails a few of her nails were already broken so i couldn't really shape it up but that's not a problem you will shape it up with your acrylic so yeah I then go in with my 240 grit uh, sanding band to remove the shine of the nail plate. This is also a very important step. This can cause lifting if you do not do this step and we don't want lifting. We don't. <laughs> I also do this on a very low speed, no higher than 4000 RPMs because you're dealing with a natural plate. I then dehydrate the nails with um, alcohol. You can use a dehydrator, but I like using alcohol spray. I then go in twice with my protein bond from Young Nails. I prime the nails twice. You guys already know the drill, <laughs> but yeah. So I then build the nail with exposed from valentino when uh doing a overlay try to go in with a drier bead than usual because you are building the nail and when your bead is too wet you cannot build the nail your bead will just um run all over the nail plate and you do not want that you want to be in control of the nail as you can see i am just patting my way towards the end of the nail so what i do is just pat 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 so it's at the front and then use the belly of my brush to kind of shape it into a square shape if i'm making sense i am so bad at um explaining but i hope you can see what i'm doing there so i also try to go in with a one bead so the one bead here i use the one bead method because um, the nails are short and you do not want the nails to be too thick and when you use three to four beads the nail will get way too thick so try to use yeah dry beads please Please, when you're doing the one bead method, don't be afraid to go in and add more beads of acrylic to build your nail. If you feel like your nail is too thin or too flat or whatever, go back and build your nail. As you can see, I'm doing the one bead method, but I went back to build my cuticle and places where I needed more acrylic because it's more important for your nail to look good and be strong enough than it looking flat. Also, please do not mind my nails. Y'all always know it's a mess with me. I was trying to record a video on this set on my left hand. Um, it went all wrong, so I could not upload it. But um, I just used olive green from Cakes and Nails and their velvet matte top coat. Um, my nails are over a week old now, but yeah, they're still very matte. So I really love the top coat from 
Cake Signals is a good one. It's the only uh, matte top coat I use. So, uh, yeah, go order your matte top coat. Also, a little tip, if you go in with your dry bead and your bead is a little too dry to work with, don't be shy or afraid to dip your brush into your monomer and go back and pat your bead with, with your wet brush. This helps for the acrylic to move a bit easier around or on the nail. So as you can see, I keep shaping my nail that is the most important part because she wanted a square shape so what you want to do is while you're patting 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 the acrylic towards the edge of the nail you need to make sure that you are also shaping it so the sides need to be straight um the edge of the nail needs to be like straight like a square i don't know how to explain this guy but guys but you guys can see what i am doing also my nails were a bit too flat for my liking like the one bead method were not it for me so when i finished um all five fingers on this hand i went back with a little bit more of acrylic on the nails that i um i thought they were a bit too flat i needed more structure So on the right side of the thumb, I felt like it wasn't shaped um, squarely, squarish enough. So I went in with a little bit of acrylic to make it more of a square. So as I said, don't be afraid to go back in with acrylic where you feel like there needs to be more acrylic. And as you can see, I go back in on the, um, I don't know, the third finger. <laughs> with more acrylic because I felt like it was too flat. It had no structure and my nails need to have structure because when she goes out of my door and people ask her who did her nails, she's going to say tea sparkle. So uh, my all my nails need to be pretty and need to have structure as well. Did I also mention, um, this is my first ever acrylic nail overlay. I've never done this before. And um, this is why I'm adding more acrylic and whatnot. But I feel like in a month or two, I will have a proper hang of this. And I will add this to my services. So now I go in with my drill bit to smooth over the nails and seal all the cuticles. It is very important to seal your cuticles. This will prevent lifting as well and it looks just smooth. It looks like it grows out of her nails or fingers or whatever. And I'm sorry guys, my head and my glasses will be in the video the whole time I still haven't got a hang of how you need to place the camera whilst filming um and this is like my third or fourth video but i still don't get how people do it um so yeah i'm just filing it um try not to file as much as possible this is why it's very important 
for you to place the acrylic correctly so you won't need to uh, file a lot because obviously the nail is already a bit flat so if you file off everything you will have like no structure left in your nail so try to file as minimum as possible um, I file to make everything smooth and then I go over it with my hand file just to make it extra smooth I don't know and to bring back the shape to life because obviously you used acrylic to create the square shape so now you need to make everything sharp and crisp So now I turn the hand over towards me so I can see if everything is straight and sharp and if not I just go back with my hand file and sharpen it and make everything straight. Um, I then go in with my, um, what's that called? I think it's called a cone bit. I don't know what it's called. It's just the bit you get in, in your <laughs> I don't know when you're you know like when you buy your drill machine for the first time you get like the bit with things yeah it was part of it so I just go underneath the nails to remove all the excess acrylic um, I did not remove my brush I then start to buff the nails. Make sure you buff your nails very well. You can see me go over the nails with my thumb just to make sure it is smooth enough. If it's not smooth, you can just buff the nails some more. Um, buffing is so that you won't see no scratches when you apply your top coat or gel paint or anything else. So after washing her hands, uh, you can apply top coat, but I first went in with my Perfect White from Madame Glam and I used my liner brush from Mark Art, which I got from Amazon. Um, she wanted a French tip, so that's what I'm going to draw. French tip, what I basically do is I try to draw the sides first and especially on short tips. 
I try not to go too deep with my white. I just try to um, touch just the edge of the nail with my white. If I'm making sense, you will see what I do. Um, I will just, yeah, basically repeat all steps on the nail. And then I will turn her hand over just to see if uh, the French matches all of her fingers because you don't want one nail to be too deep and the other nail not be deep. You know, it doesn't look pretty. So just make sure that your French always matches your other nails. So this is the finished look. I applied top coat and I cured it twice for 60 seconds and I hope you guys enjoyed watching my video. Please leave a pink heart down below in the comments and don't forget to like, subscribe and don't forget to follow me on Instagram.